Hey guys, good evening. It's me, Skid. Uh, gonna try some more uh, XCOM here. Um, hope you're all enjoying your Sunday evenings. Uh, I actually have never done this on a Sunday, so I don't even know if anyone's gonna show up. Um, <clears throat> but, uh... I think what I'm going to do before I start is I'm going to take uh, some advice. Chestnut King, good evening. Um, I'm going to take some advice that uh, I think it was Helvane said last time and make some custom characters before I start. So how that works is go to character pool. Little Red Riding Crop, hello. I'm so sorry you were killed uh, last time. Um, okay, so, uh, I am going to right now make, um, McMillander, good evening. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see about reviving Little Red, I don't know, we gotta, we'll see if that works or not. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is make the, uh, Glass Cannon characters. Uh, so, we do this, first name, Lork, last name, Iron Tusk, uh, <laughs> natural one, well, the natural, uh, biography, Firm. Okay, so nationality. Lork, I guess, would be. I can call him English, I suppose. If they have the United Kingdom in here. Uh, they do. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and his gender is male. Okay. <laughs> I like his uh, Mad Max outfit so far. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so let's see. Props. Let's see, left arm, knuckle dusters. Oh, leather straps. I like that. Shoulder pauldron, feathers. That's cool. Torso. I uh, got some armor there. That's pretty cool. I think I like that one. Uh, upper face prop. Uh, <laughs> Aramil, what's up? Good evening. Um, I think dark glasses. I think that suits Lork. Um, oh, and face paint. This is important to being a orc, so we gotta make him look kinda green if we can. I think that's pretty close. Oh no, that's actually, that's pretty good. They're pretty creepy. Mouton, no. Ma the Maori tattoos are pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> want a monocle? Uh, all right, let's see. Well, first we'll do the Archon, we'll do that. There, Lork has a monocle. <laughs> uh, all right, do lower face prop. Samurai mask. Actually, yeah. Oh, there you go. You got the little tusks and everything. So that's cool. Um, oh, I won't worry about tattoos. Scars. Got to have plenty of scars. Uh, I don't see that. Burn half his face, that's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, hair. He's got gray hair, it's like short. That's probably good. Hair color is 
Yeah, that's good. And... Okay, cool. Carl! Ugh, they've been awful all day. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I think... Put random and... Character pool. Guys! Hey, the thrifty trinket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the last podcast. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the, the next one coming out tomorrow evening. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, I backed out. Character pool. Okay, I'll create a new one. Uh, let's have this one be Del. Whoop. Della. Last name Narn. Uh, nationality. I think I think she's Belgian. That's my guess. Uh, biography from a whole different damn. Plane of existence. Belgium. Okay. Irish. Okay. All right. Or Icelandic. Wow. Ice. Irish and Icelandic are two really strong choices. Uh. Oh, actually, you know, hmm. I think I like Icelandic. But it's not a choice, so we'll do, do Ireland. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bum. What's her nickname? Does she have a nickname? I don't know. If anyone thinks of one. Uh, hair color, that's probably, that's probably good. Hair. That looks good. Uh, eye color, I feel like purple. Sorry. Uh, voice, uh, UK English. I guess it. Oh, Irish. Is there Irish on here? Yeah, there must be. Oh, there's not. Um. On it. That's close. That's close enough. And her attitude is happy-go-lucky. Maybe it's a happy-go-lucky. That sounds good. Uh, can appear as VIP. All right, so. Uh, all right, so props. Uh. <laughs> Dress hats, recon hood. Oh, that's pretty cool. I will make her skin white. Uh, gotta see that face though. How about a beanie? I like her in a beanie. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little too sexy. That I like though. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely give Baron one of those hats. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, upper face prop. What does she have? What would she have? Does she have any of these? A nose ring. Can't see it at the moment. Uh, lower face prop. Mm. None. Uh, okay, and skin color, lightest they've got, there we go, you want hot pants, little red, <laughs> it's too sexy, I don't want to get distracted, um, soldier class, oh, and what should she be, I guess you should probably be, a PSYOP, 
because of her uh, magic powers. Oh, Thrifty Trinket, you had a question. What's what's the question? Uh, race. Oh, she ugh. she is race zero. All right, that looks pretty sweet. Okay, I think she's good, right? She looks good, man. I just have to see if I can change her head. Face, face. Oh. Face B. Let's get let's look at her straight on here. Nope. No. Actually E. I like E a lot. Okay. All right, so that's good. I think she's good to go. Uh, I don't know what the character creation limit is. We'll find out. Um, or maybe we won't. Uh, okay, create a new one. Okay. His name, Baron. Red heart? Question mark? Uh, nickname? Stunty. Um, uh, biography? A orf with a gun and a Texas accent. Firm. Uh, okay, nationality, certainly American. Uh, gender is actually male. Um, okay. And a drinking problem, correct. Um, all right, oh, facial hair, here we go. Probably got to be that. Let's see if we have a... Uh... We'll do that. Scrappy beard. Oh, uh, Skell got hit with the spell Feeble Mind, but it doesn't make him comatose, so we need to hunt down Troy. It's not actually Feeble Mind. Uh, it has most of the effects of Feeble Mind, but it's... I think it's something actually distinct that... Uh... Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. So I gotta find a Texas accent here. Location confirmed. Moving out. Copy that. Rolling out. Got it covered. Double time. Stepping off. Roger that. Moving out. Solid copy. What? Getting it done. Location confirmed. Wow. None of these are like Texas. Um, Lonesome Joe, good evening. Go. Uh, all right, and the hairs actually should be pretty long. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> uh, let me see. Hair color. It's more kind of brown. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Uh, okay. Attitude. Uh, by the book? Intense. I don't think I can make him short, unfortunately. Um, can appears VIP. Uh, okay, so props. Hat. Boonie hat. Dress hat or boonie hat? Oh, these are crazy. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, those are, those are nuts. Uh, 
All right, we'll do the do the boonie hat. Yeah, boonie hat. Uh, and lower face prop, cigar. <laughs> oh, this is shaping up very nicely. Um, all right, I think that might be good there. Uh, let's see, scars. Like a big scar. Looks good. Um, actually, I'd like to give him some, like, weird glasses. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, and... Soldier class should be a sharpshooter. Cool. He does look kind of Australian. <laughs> wow. Maybe we should just make him Australian. Will do. Got it. All right, we're going to make him Australian. Uh, and... <laughs> Mark. Uh, and let's see, we got to do his soldier class. Uh, as Ranger. Hey, CC Faz. Welcome. Uh, do you think you should have different armor? Uh, Little Red? It's a Ranger. Uh, his attitude is absolutely hard luck. So that's good. Um, yeah, I don't like his armor. I don't like his armor. Um that's something bulkier. Let's do that. And let's see, flip arm. Spike pauldron. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright. All right, and one more. Elaborous. Finn. Nickname. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Currently in a magical coma. Um, nationality, he is from the UK. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Props. Helmets. It's kind of a cool... <laughs> Metals. Oh, I like that. Hockey mask. Uh, yeah, we'll do... Wait. We'll do the Delta one. Uh, arms. It's got to be fully kitted out. Uh, let's see. Legs. Yeah, that's good. Upper face prop. None. Uh, tattoos, no. Scars, no. Um, actually, do he does have scars, doesn't he? Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he does... Double eye slice. That's really close to what uh, the illustration is. Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, hey, a flying brick too. Good evening. Um, <laughs> he's not American English. It's UK English. Copy that. 
On the move. On it. Getting it done. Solid copy. Yeah, Got that's it. that's move pretty it. good. Uh, attitude by the book, certainly. Soldier class. He is a. Um. Specialist? I think that's what the uh, the dudes are. That's closer to a cleric. Yeah, that's probably good. Um, and let me fix his face here. There, that's a baby face. Uh, skin color zero. Main armor color. Blue, secondary armor color. Yeah, that's good. Sweet. Looking good, man. Specialist does, they do like hacking. And they do, they're medics too, I think. I'm not really sure. Oh, hair. Mm. Facial hair, none. Okay. And we'll do one more. Troy. A valley. Nickname. The worst. Eh. Biography. Dickhead. Uh, Nashik, yeah, Canadian. Yep. Uh, gender male. That's, you know what? That's perfect. That's exactly what Troy looks like. So, there we go. Okay. Um, so now I'm not sure. Okay, so I think. These guys will just, they'll show up like when I recruit soldiers, I think. So hopefully that's true. All right, so now let's continue the game. Oh, cool. This is so cool. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the little drop ship. Where are we? This is cool. Ooh. Ooh oh, there's a little power supply there. Uh, all right. So we'll go to the bridge. Commander, our current position is here, just outside resistance headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates Michigan. yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but okay. we need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. Uh, added. A flying brick. I just started playing this game. Uh, the last Twitch. I haven't played it all since the last time I uh, broadcast. Uh, so I played very little. Contact resistance in the Black Site region. Research resistance communications. Okay, cool. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. What? Reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Hey, Gel Gelge did. Commander, after a recent success, members of New Mexico brought us reports of activity we want to investigate. Oh, we'll get supplies. Sweet. Avenger plotting new course. Cool. Oh, Alaska. Or Yukon. Commander. While we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. Oh, On your order, okay. we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Okay, start, uh, yeah, scan. Cool. 
cool. Whoa, who's this? this What's going on? Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By oh, this is creepy. The Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted. The one that was in me! But there are differences. What kind of differences? <laughs> it's, a, it's not you, Little Red. <laughs> this is an enemy dude. Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. Except... Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Oh. Network. Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. Oh, I was These in the Matrix. are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy my working theory advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command oh weird observe they're like the borg Ugh. even in the subject's diminished condition the implant continues to have an effect a truly astonishing achievement or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Uh -huh. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Okay. Uh, Chestnut King, a 15 oh, second that. summary. I will do that. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, while well, the original XCOM came out in 1993, the premise is that aliens are secretly infiltrating the Earth, trying to take over. So you were the commander of a military multinational organization dedicated to fighting them off. And so the premise of XCOM 2 is that you actually failed to do this in XCOM 1, and the Earth has been taken over by the aliens. And now you're a resistance guy. Now you're, you're leading the resistance. <clears throat> okay. Uh, use the skull jack item on an advent officer in combat to gain access to the alien communication network. Access the alien network. Construct the proving ground facility. Complete the skull jack project in the proving ground. Use the skull jack on an advent officer. Tell me more. Uh, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Cool. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Okay. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Titan came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. A proving ground. An experimental workspace where Shen can test and produce new unique types of ammo, grenades, and armor for our soldiers, as well as other specialized tactical items. Cool. Uh, so I want to research resistance communications. I'm going to do that first. Research. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Do I have any I'll scientists? I, have I don't. Report available. And cool. Okay. Um, I have to admit, there is something exciting about working oh, under the cool. more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for mistakes here. This is cool. Ooh. Oh. I don't get it. Okay, so research. Hello, yeah. Work is well underway. Okay, we we'll just spoke. Yet my oh, there's Lily. Hello, Commander. Hello. I probably could have saved a lot memorial. of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea. Oh, the memorial. The language. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. Where's the? We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our <laughs> people a chance to pay their respects. 
Oh, look at Little Red. There she is. Died in Operation Shadow Fort. Well, wait a minute. What about all the... What about all the other people who died? That's not right. I know, I know more of you guys died. Oh, look at Little Red. I miss her so much. Soldier Ep- Oh! Change Epitaph. And she died... Bravely... Due to... Operational stupidity. Okay. Cool. Weren't there two listeners that died? There's only one here. This is only red. Um, okay. Clear alien debris. There you go to the bridge. I think I can pass time here. Okay. Let's pass some time. Ah, cool. Alien debris cleared. New room is available for constructing a facility. Let's view the room. Uh, sweet. An experimental workspace for Shankin Testament. I know it says ammo, don't I? Yep. Build it. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. Sweet. I'll send word when it's up and running. Oh, Lucid. That's right. Lucid. That's right. Lucid died. A staffed engineer who can assist in building the program. I would like to sign them here. Uh, yes, please. Thank you, Sally. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Okay. So let's continue to scan the area. Oh, we have allies scattered in cities Ooh. throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Okay, let's see the mission. Operation Dead Him. Rescue VIP from Advent Cell. Dread Him. Reward a scientist. 84 Intel. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I think all our dudes are uh, healed again. There's Wintermute and Amgram. Uh, oh no, they're not. They're still out. I need more soldiers. Uh, uh, oh boy. Am I going to have to do this with two dudes? I can't do that. Wait a minute. There's got to be a way to get more dudes. Engineering. Engineering. Debris. Commander's quarters. Living quarters. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Alright, so can I recruit? I can't. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I can recruit Am Graham. I, I don't know. I I don't believe I can. Uh, if anyone knows any different, tell me, but I don't believe that I can. Um, Alright. Oh boy. So, I'm gonna have to tackle this with two dudes? That can't be right. That won't work at all. And it is. I'm not playing on Iron Man. Um, no, I can't. Uh, XCOM, you j if they're wounded, depending on how badly they're wounded, you We're just have to up wait. A secure transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Huh? Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Wait, a recruit? I like the sound of that. Uh, what? Huh? What? Hello, soldiers. Hello. Nowhere on earth can I find soldiers. Man. Avenger plotting new course. I'll handle this later. I wanna wait till my guys get healed. Hopefully I can. Commander, 
We have a mission available that's reliant on time sensitive information. We can always finish our scans later, but failing to take out uh, this mission could have serious repercussions for the resistance movement. Right, but I don't have enough dudes to even do it. Damn. Alright. Alright. Mexico. On the strength of my sub commander's advice, I will launch the suicide mission. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is so bad. All right, Little Red. Maybe you're right. Maybe I can do this. Uh, snipe. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. So, yeah, as I was saying, I'm not playing on Iron Man mode, which is basically you can't reload an old save. But I'm not going to reload any old saves anyway, so. Yeah, you're dead, Amgram. I'm sorry. This is not going to it's not going to work. Oh boy. We just got word from the sports. VIP of critical resistance effort and they want us to handle the rescue operation. We'll need to lock down the area, free the VIP, and evac the target as quickly as possible. Tijuana. Okay. Pick me up some Vicodin while you're down there. Carl will... He would help if he could. Oh, what am I drinking tonight? Uh, I, I've never seen this. It's a new kind of Negromodelo. Negromodelo... Negra. Or Modelo Neg... I don't know. It's just some kind of special... It tastes good. Wow, Tijuana has been built up quite a bit. The alien invasion has been very good for northern Mexico. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, oh boy. Can I go up? All right, Amgram. Good to go. Oh boy, this is really scary. This game can has a can really scare me. <laughs> they all have, even the original, the original especially. Scared the crap out of me. Moving. Moving. Hostile targets in sight. Okay. All right. Well, you got a shotgun, so that's not going to do you a lot of good. Uh, let's just, just hunker down. I'm on the move. Amgram, you are my sniper. And I can't get those guys, but that's probably for the best anyway. Okay. Alright, there they go. Alright, Jay Z. My no limit soldier. So it's like this is like a security scanner thing here. So I want to avoid that. I think that's outside of its range. I have eyes on the enemy. Oh, ugh. man, this is so ugly. Oh, and you're exposed too. Holy crap! Move into designated position. All right, Am. Oh, this is so creepy. Uh, all right, 
right, Am, why don't you get down there? Yeah, I am effed. Heading there now. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe there's some way I can sneak through this. Ugh. All right, hunker. Hunker down. Oh, they're coming back! Oh my goodness. All right, so there's where the dude is. Um, I wonder if there's a way in up here. Oh, there's a door over by these jerks. Oh boy. I wonder what's up on that roof. All right, that's exposed. Oh man. Huh. Hey, Let's try this. <sighs> okay. Let's see if that works. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Oh no, shoot. Oh, don't see me. Don't see them. They're so young and perfect. Oh, they have so much to live for. No, oh, come on. Oh, oh, okay. There is actually a door there. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. All right. Uh. Orders confirmed. On the move. Can, Amgram, if you can get up on that roof there, maybe you could provide fire. Nah. Well, it would help to be in cover. Oh boy. What? Oh, there's a guy on the roof! Alright, let's hack the door. Okay, unlock the door. Okay, the door is unlocked. Shit! The VIP Shit! Is secured. I'm on the move. Menace one five status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Where's the extraction point? Why is the extraction point where those two guys are at? Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Moving to position. All right, so we get on the roof. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, no. oh Ursula. <laughs> this is some rescue. <laughs> Aren't you a little short for next com? Uh, all right, Ursula, why don't you come over there and hunker down? All right, all right, Am. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, there's so many of them. All right, Am. No, not Am. Oh, Am. Oh, it's Am's turn. Okay. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh. I wish Ursula had a gun. <laughs> a gun. Ah! 
I want to miss! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Ah, oh, come, oh, come on is right! <laughs> you gotta believe! That's right. Did Parappa the Rapper teach us nothing else? I can't get my bearings. Oh, disoriented. What? Oh, fuck that. That. Not Amgram. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh no, this is so bad. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my god. Wow. No! No more. No more. No more. Venice one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so ill-conceived. Let's see. Can you hit anyone? <sighs> yeah, slash this dude. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> no! Oh no. Oh Ursula, I am so sorry. Uh just uh <laughs> just probably get back in your cell. Uh all right. Wow. Take her only decent shot. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, at least there's more of them coming. That's that's good. This is not fair. This is not fair. Advent troops here. Yeah, am I? Yeah, I guess I could just run over to that area. It's a, it's a suicide mission at this point anyway. Actually, yeah. I think Amgram is... Wow! Wow, that was a terrible shot. They're all gonna shoot me here. Woo! Whoa! That was close! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Incoming fire. Commander, we're losing our hold on the area. The strike team is getting Oh, up Jesus. Down we need to secure the target and get our people out of there on the double. Well, fair enough, but Ah. Uh. All right, just make a break for it. No? Oh, okay. Come on, Ursula. Amgram, I don't know how you're not dead yet. Oh, she fell through the floor! Oh, wow! She fell- <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Oh, Jesus. No, what, what are you doing? Stop messing with me. Already there. All right. One M Graham. Oh, jeez. What was that? Miss. Oh, Overwatch. Oh, no. And marked. Oh. Uh. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> Alright. Oh. oh, and the doctor's dead. So that's that mission failed. Status confirmed. Target is eliminated. Oh, I need some help. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Can we get Amgram out of here? Yeah, I think I do have to send a request. Um, I think I have to do like a spotter grenade or something like into the area. But uh, let's see. Evac. These will inside evac zone. All right, so let's try to get into the evac zone. That's going to spark the Overwatch. Miss. All right, can we do evac? No, where's the evac zone? I thought it was here. I thought this was the evac zone. Wasn't it? Understood. Moving out. Oh boy. What was that? On the opposite side? Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> it was blue? <sighs> Alright, that's that's not gonna hit me. Oh and she's oh god, broke her neck. This is the loneliest dropship return I've ever seen. Wow. Oh my god. Terrible. I have to say, it would have been nice if there was some kind of visual cue for where the uh, extraction point was. Uh, after the initial, they initially show it to you. Man. Hey Lucid. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to start over. I don't have any like previous saves. Like all I have is. Oh man, so depressing. This one was ugly, Commander. <laughs> like that cost us more than just manpower. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! And Ursula Wolf is dead. Oh my god. You were bound to face difficult operations over the course of our campaign, Commander. But there is I no know. room for these ongoing setbacks. We I, must do better. I know. I you, you don't have to tell me. God, man, you don't have to yell at me. Commander, there's no one left to deploy. We have to get some new recruits in. How do I recruit soldiers? How do I seriously? It used to in the original version, the earlier version, you recruited new soldiers from the living quarters. But man, man, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Well, if anyone can figure it out, I would be, uh, I would be grateful. I just, I don't know how to do it. Well, well, well. <laughs> this is the, this is the worst. Commander's quarters. The new uniform isn't bad considering, but 
Sometimes I do miss that damn sweater. Uh oh, recruits. There we go. Oh man. Um okay. Brian Gordon, kinda weird looking. Uh I like Irish soldiers. I'm Caitlin Carrigan. Uh Gary Russell, you look pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. I like your glass. Oh, I can't afford it anymore. Shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I could have done it in the last mission. <laughs> if only I had known. If only I was better at this. Uh, wow. Okay. Avenger plotting new course. All right, let's try to get these supplies again. Strategic there we go. Located. Forty-eight supplies. Hooray! Okay, fly back. Mexican regional tract. We. All right, so let's gain some intel. Gain four intel. All right, the that's good. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we can communicate with resistance groups, so that's good. Conceptually, the idea of establishing a radio-based communication system for the purpose of organizing resistance moves is nothing new, harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars. We've built a here in a small task. Aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working close to conversion, Chief Engineer Shen, we're going to solve some of the long files, down number some of the communication. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. Our attacking. Sweet. Oh, I can build a resistance comms facility. That's cool. Um, let's see. We should. Uh, what should I research now? Uh, uh, let's do. Well, let's do something quicker. Modular weapons. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Oh, did you? you as soon as the report is I didn't know I'd become that predictable, Tagen. Uh, all right. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources <laughs> and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. <laughs> Even with the oh. frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments with any notable uh, sensitivity. All right. Hello. I may have to adapt my Hi. research techniques to maintain efficiency you? under these conditions. Hey, everybody. It's Internet Celebrity Courtney. Oh, my God. Are you twitching? I am. I gotta wrap it up now, though. Uh, so I gotta watch Westworld. I don't know if any guys are planning to watch uh, Westworld. Yeah, see, Courtney is my version of the ice cream truck. Um, yeah, so thanks, guys, for bearing with me. This uh, I apologize for how awful this was, uh, <laughs> or how awful I am at it. Um, but thanks. This is I love this game, um, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to do it again soon. Uh, thanks for coming by. New episode tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Glad